On WLWT, a story of resilience, faith, and community. Yeah, so a molar student is recovering at home tonight, less than a week after being knocked unconscious during a freshman football game. Pretty scary stuff. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson spoke with his mom, who shared personal moments that brought the family some peace. Well, it was the start of the second half of the freshman football game here at Moeller last Saturday when 15 year old Connor Moppin was injured. He was knocked unconscious on the field. The Moppins, a faith filled family, and that is what guided them through this past week. 15 year old Connor was on the Moeller freshman field when he went down in a football game against St. Ignatius. And the whole time I'm running over, I'm going, get up, Connor, get up. Connor was unresponsive, unconscious, and unable to move. And I, I just started praying. I could hear the boys in the back um, sobbing. I mean, the team was, was a wreck, uh, but you could hear them praying. At one point, the opposing teams met in the middle of the field. They prayed over Connor and just over his healing. And that one of the St. Ignatius kids, from what I understand, led the team in prayer. Panic turned into peace for his mother, Leah. At Children's Hospital, she says there was another sign Connor was going to pull through. Her best friend's daughter, who just popped up in a photo with Connor in a Facebook memory earlier that day, appeared. And I walk into the trauma unit and she's at his head, holding his head. And she comes out to me and she says, Leah, it's, it, she pulls down her mask and she said, it's Maddie. And I, I just lost it. Leah then learned the Red Cross arranged for her oldest son, Ben, a soldier who's been in Iraq, to return home to be with his family. There's definitely a peace and comfort that, that surpasses everything um, when, when you're all together. After spending five days in the hospital, Connor, who did suffer a traumatic brain injury, was released yesterday. He's home now, surrounded by love, support, and well wishes. What's up, Connor? Sam Hubbard here. From one of his biggest fans and Moeller brother. I can't wait to see you back 100%. Who day and go Big Mo. And the men of Moeller, clearly a very strong bond. Leah tells me her son is still very weak physically, but mentally he's strong. She says she is so thankful for all of the prayers, not just from the Moeller community, but really from families across greater Cincinnati. And she says we really are very lucky to have Children's Hospital right in our backyard. That's where her son will continue to receive treatment. In Montgomery, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Oh, Karen, so glad you're able to tell us that he is slowly at least recovering. The nightmare for a parent I to know. see your kid unconscious on the field.